I'm Tina Baikonur from Stanford University. We are here in San Francisco for the Heart Rhythm Society Scientific Sessions. Here with me is Dr. Vivek Reddy. Uh, we are here to talk about the QDOT FAST trial. Dr. Reddy, the first in-human trial of 90-watt ablation. Could you tell us a little bit more about the technology of the catheter as well as the, the parameters of ablation? Sure. When we think about radio frequency ablation, what happens is there's initially resistive heating, which is a couple of 100 microns, and then there's conductive heating. Heat is emanating from that, and that's how lesions form. So with standard catheters, you need to ablate and give it time to make a deeper lesion. With the Q dot fast, with the Q dot catheter, the idea is to deliver much more power, 90 watts, which we usually don't even deliver over 50 watts. So 90 watts, and deliver it for a short period of time. So you get more resistive heating, but not as much conductive heating. The major advantage of this being a much quicker ablation lesion. So instead of delivering a lesion over 15, 20, 30 seconds, this is a four second lesion. And that decrease in time will drive down procedure times. Could you tell us more about the study endpoints as well as the outcomes? Sure. The way this catheter is able to do this is it has temperature sensors on the surface. And so we did a study using this approach with these four second lesions, a multi center study in Europe, using this to isolate pulmonary veins. And what we found was that number one, yes, indeed, we could perform the procedure using these four second lesions. And number two, it was safe. There were no unusual complications with this particular trial. We didn't have tamponades and other issues. And number three, if we look at the procedural parameters, time it takes to isolate the veins, the overall procedure time, fluoroscopy time, et cetera, it was substantially less than what was seen historically with other, other similar studies. It will be exciting to see the adoption of this new technology. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.